Under your watch at Merck, uh, under your watch, Merck developed and provided a treatment for river blindness <clears> that stands as an example of corporate morality in its highest form. Was this a difficult sell to the Merck board and your colleagues? Uh, it's not going to be a blockbuster, no. It was not. Well, our salespeople said, of course they could sell it. And I said, to whom? You know, these people were the poorest sure. people in the world. Um, I visited people in, in Chad, which is the middle of Africa. And these people lived in, in, in uh, mud huts and wore grass skirts. I mean, these were really poor. They'd never been outside their village. Uh, we had been meeting monthly with an executive group to determine how we were going to get the drug to these people. We had no plan. We had no decision. But there, was, there had been a uh, cover story in the New York Times, the Sunday Times, with a picture of patients with river blindness with a story that Merck had this drug and so I could visualize, you know, not knowing what to do with it. And so we had to make a very rapid decision. And so we decided in a, in a two-day period. And we had, a, uh, we had a press conference in Washington where we announced that Merck would provide the drug free to anyone, anywhere in the world, for as long as it was required. Uh, that, was, that was exciting. It was, uh, was done in a tremendous rush, so much so that I did not talk with the board. Mm -hmm. And so I made this, I committed the company, and, and uh, of course this brought in a flood of high morale within the company and among our stockholders. So at the next board meeting I, of course, explained what had happened, and someone said, uh, don't you think, uh, Roy, that you should have come to the board? I said, well, you know, I really didn't think of it. It was coming so fast, and we had to make the decision. Is there anyone here who would make another decision? And looked around the uh, table, there was no other decision.